Well, hello, folks. Welcome back along to another episode of Combat Contracting. My name is Thomas. It's been a while. I uh, must apologize. I've been awfully busy here um, trying to get all the jobs done, but we're getting there. As you can see, it's getting a little bit dusky. Uh, the sun is setting here on Hillside Farm, but uh, we're pushing through. We're actually just... We've uh, bought a couple of loads of manure here from, uh, from Tony up at Hillside because we're trying to... Uh, right, the pH balance in the field, we're about to start plowing in and then drilling. Uh, so, needs a little bit of work, but we've, uh, Tony is forever producing an awful lot of manure, so we've, uh, we've, we're coming in while it's nice and hard still, whilst the ground is still uh, rock solid. We had a strong old uh, frost this morning, and it's all been quite dry as well. So, by coming in now, we're able just to kind of get ahead here and uh, take a few loads. We're going back down to Kind of opposite the old yard, really, uh, not that far away at all uh, from our from our yard. So we'll we'll, we'll see if we can get it all covered. Um, oh, there we go. We have we've made a bit of an upgrade. We've bought the spreader here, actually. Uh, we bought the bun in. Uh, we were hiring it quite a bit, and um, we you know we've had a lot of work coming in recently as well so we decided that the opportunity was there to go out and purchase one so we we, we rolled with it and yeah I haven't looked back yet since so um, plenty of potential there for us to get a lot of work uh, so we're gonna hope to see if that can continue as well uh, but yeah ultimately it's looking very good uh, Hannah Mag is still working tremendously really pushing through here so that is all good as well uh, other than that, there's not a lot else new. We've just been working hard, trying to get a lot of land around here drilled up, which I think we're about there now. We've got one more field after the one we're in today to do, and then we've still got some maize to chop to put into the pit for Newland for Mike over at Newland's farm, uh, and then that is all good and done. So we're trying to get ahead there as well. Uh, so we're trying to get ahead just wherever we can at the moment. We are we're doing all right because we are actually going to be taking a little bit of a a, a vacation of sort. Um, but we're trying to, uh, Jamie and I are trying to get ahead of it, so we just take a little bit of a break and um, go and do a little bit of travelling. We've had an opportunity to go and do a little bit of work elsewhere, um, so that's what we're going to be looking at. So we need to try and see if we can get that done. Uh, but right now, oh, there he is. I think that's going to be just about full there, actually. Uh, we'll give it a little touch more, see if we can get any more in here. going to be close, if anything. Okay, there we go. Now we'll just give it a bit of a tap down just to keep it all kind of pushed in there. We are going on the main road after all, so we want to make sure that it just doesn't fling out everywhere. There we go. That should be looking good. So we'll just tap this into the heap. Might give this heap a bit of a shove up actually as well before we leave here, but what we will do is just get that done. There we go, perfect. So we'll just jump out and we'll go and see what Jamie's doing. He's like going to get himself away. Well then, how are we doing? Hey, how are you doing? Not all bad. It's uh, I've given that a bit of a tap down there, so we should have it all covered up. Uh, so you shouldn't see any more flying off on the road anywhere. Do you reckon that one load will do it? I think that one load will do it. I, th I think that's a, that's a cracking um, uh, funding spreader with uh, with a nice big capacity on it. I, I don't think we're going to need more than that to do this. this. No, I think we should be good. Um, it's a beautiful evening for it. It's super crisp out here now. It's ideal. It is. It's really nice. And nice it's nice and dry on the ground as well. So, uh, yeah, shouldn't, shouldn't cause us too much problems, I don't think. Excellent. I am, um, I think, given what I've seen now, I'm going to give this little bit of a heap of tidy up before I leave. Just kind of push it all up a bit and smarten it up so we can get some more tipped in here if he needs to. Um, okay. But then I will take the hand mag back down to the yard and I'll come and chase you out the field with the plow, I suppose. Fantastic. All right, well, I will I will get down there with this bunny and, uh, and, we'll, um, uh, and we'll get cracking. Sounds tremendous. I'll see you down there in probably about, well, no, 20 minutes, half an hour. Excellent. I will see you down there soon. Perfect stuff. All right, then. We're going to get back into the beastie. 
Where is he? He's gone into that. That's lovely. So we're just going to give this a bit of a push up, really. Nothing much more than that. Just to try and keep it all looking a bit tidier for him. When you tip out the trailer, you do quite often find that you're just going to spill it all over the shop, really. Uh, so if we push it up a little bit, then it should be all good. There he goes, Jamie. I'm going to get that door shut now, though it's getting a little bit cold. So yeah, we are looking to, we're going to be taking a little bit of a vacation, well, a working man's vacation really. Uh, we're we're going to go away and uh, take a couple of months to go and travel around Europe with Jamie and I. And we're going to, we've got a few contacts uh, that we're going to have a look at. They've got a little bit of work we can possibly look into as well. So uh, it's going to be interesting. Now, the winter months are traditionally, any time after we've got all the planting done over the uh, autumn, uh, the winter months are always our quieter months. Uh, so Dave is going to be around, he's going to look after any emergency jobs that come through, but for the most part there, our clients and our customers know that there's not going to be a lot happening, uh, but they know just to kind of, should, you know, worst case scenario, uh, they can always call us and we can get Dave to come in and help, but uh, everything will be locked up in the shed really, uh, with not much happening, so we'll see how it goes. That's yeah, looking better already. Just a bit tidier. So we're gonna roll down the uh, down the back of that. Should we grab? That's perfect. Now this we very seldom actually take this on the uh, on the road. It can go on the road. It's not the quickest, but it certainly can go on the road there. And uh, you know we can use the car for me to be. And would we take a moment here to check out Tony's fast track? I believe this is Tony's fast track, but good heavens! Look at the size of that thing. What in the world is he doing to get money like that? Clearly, he's not paying us enough. That's for sure. I think he's probably uh, we've probably given him too good a deal on his uh, on the muck we've just bought as well. But we're gonna head back out anyway. I'm gonna take this uh, old beastie down to the yard. Uh, well, we'll get our, the new Massey there, is there with a new plough on the back actually, we've got a bit of a bigger plough to use at the moment. It's going to really test the guts on the Massey a bit there, it is a 6 furrow so it's uh, fairly sizeable. Uh, we had a lot of output in our 5 furrow, we're going to keep for the time being there, but it, uh, so we can use that, we can go tandem ploughing if we need to. But it's uh, yeah, just not the, um, the fastest for us really. But uh, hey, we'll see what happens, that's for sure. This thing's a bit numb to go around the corners at speed there, it's got to take it nice and slowly. There we go. So we're really not going too far away at all, we're just going to rumble around the corner up to the yard and then um, we'll probably pass the field Jamie's going to be in actually. So we'll see how he gets on there. And then yeah, we're going to have a play with the new plough there. So I'm going to take this back up to the yard and we'll catch you up there in a little while. Hello old friend. Hello, new friends. Look at it. What a thing of beauty this is. It really is stunning. So I filled it up with diesel before. We do have the Amazon plow on the back, the six furrow plow. Uh, we are going to get this stuck into the ground, get that paint worn off the furrows as well, uh, and see how it's going. But it's in, it is in uh, road mode at the moment there, because it is just a little bit wide and also a bit heavy there to, to hold up on the arms to carry all the way there. So, uh, like I say, that we're just going around the corner. In fact, there is, there is Jamie now. That was good timing. We'll go and see what what he's getting up to inside here. I'm sure the lovely uh, residents here of uh, Cornbrook would be delighted to have a spread and muck at this time of night on a Sunday evening, but never mind. Okay, so it's a little bit of an odd shaped field here. It's quite a dog like, but we'll go and start in the bottom corner, where kind of away from. Uh, oh, where? Jamie has already been 
and we'll see what we can get done there. Uh, so what I'm going to do before we go any further, we're going to have a look at the plow. We just need to take it out of transport mode. So there's a few things we have to do there. Uh, one of which is we need to actually lower this down first. First thing we need to do is put the top link in there, uh, so we can actually lift the plow back up. I've removed the uh, removed the transport lock that prevents the uh, prevents the plow from rolling over whilst we're in transport mode. So that's been removed. So now let me lift this back up again. And I can lift this up in the hydraulics to roll over. Then we just need to look at the depth wheel as well. So we'll have a look at that. Change a few things around on the depth wheel here, mainly so the depth wheel can uh, roll over properly when we start to uh, turn the power over. That should be just good to go. Good lord, it looks fantastic in the uh, in the evening sun. So is one load going to be enough over there for you, Jamie? Should be, I think. Uh, might need to stop and just check how much I've got left in the uh, spreader, I think. I am going to start in this kind of dog leg in the corner here and just kind of square this edge up, I think. Uh, and then I'll, I'll kind of catch you up as you work your way out. Uh, talking of, is it enough? I think I've just run out. Oh, okay. Well, we've got probably, what, two thirds of the field done there, would you say? Uh, yeah, looks like it. Okay, it could be worthwhile just to put that one load in and see how, uh, you know, give it a bit of a trial on this field, really see how it improves the conditions a bit uh, and see if it's just that we need to put more organic matter in or see if it needs something on top of that as well. Yeah, I think I, I, I agree with that. I think uh, I think that will probably do it for today um, from me then. Uh, and we'll see. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how it goes, and see uh, see if this needs to top up. But I don't. I don't think that uh, Hillside, unfortunately, can spare any more manure. I don't know if they can. Um, we can always. I'll plow in what you've done so far, or what I can get plowed in. We can always check with Tony and then put another load down if he thinks he's got enough tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, oh well, that's good. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna get this stuff back to the farm, give it a wash down because uh, my uh, my T7 is looking very. The massy fan in me says it's an improvement. Ah! Oh dear. Right. I before you insult my tractor any further, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna head back to the yard. <laughs> No worries. I'm going to get as much done as I can here, and then before it gets too dark, I'll uh, I'll swing back over as well. I will. Um, are you going to hang around? You going to be in the office when I get back? Uh, yeah, I'll be around. Uh, I should be in the office. I think I'm going to make it a nice cup of tea. Uh, but I will. Uh, yeah, I'll catch you. Splendid. I won't be too long. I'll catch you in a little while. Good lord, that was a tough bit of ground there. I had to really just kind of work through there. But well, it's like I said, it's a really weird shaped field. So what we're looking to do in here is we're just going to get out all of this uh, this bit here, really. Uh, square this edge off. Uh, and then we'll come, we'll be able to get some full runs in. Uh, shouldn't take too much time to do from there on in, really. Uh, but yeah, well, that's my house just there, actually. I should park here and go for a, go for a first brew. The hill we go. Beautiful evening to be in here though, absolutely stunning. This tractor's actually pulling this lump of iron up this hill without any problem. A little bit of really hard compacted ground in the bottom corner there, but aside from that, it's pulling it without a hitch. Which of course is what one would expect, it is a massive after all folks, let's be honest here. Okay, so the headland's going to take some time to do here, if only for the sheer state of the uh, the number of cuts I'll have to put in. There we go. So 
we'll get this all this little dog leg all kind of ironed out of here. It's all looking good, that's for sure. And onwards we go. So we'll keep on plugging away. Uh, we have, like I say, we've got a couple of things coming up here which should be quite interesting. Uh, and then as it starts quieting down, we'll be taking another little adventure really Jamie and I which will be very good we're both very much looking forward to it I have to say uh, and we'll be bringing you along for the ride as well what I would say about that is make sure you keep an eye on both Virtual Farmer and Simulation for the Nations channel because we'll be able to give all of our data over to those guys and they'll be uh, making the videos just like they are now so it's definitely going to be worth keeping that an eye out to see where it goes and we will see you in the next one there uh, but until then as always, thank you ever so much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to both our, uh, of the channels mentioned before. And we will see you later. Uh, for now, though, I'm going to keep what appears to be doing an awful lot of turning around. Um, because I can't get any big long runs done here. But we're going to keep soldiering on and we'll get through this field sooner rather than later. And we'll get on to the next one. Uh, and we'll bring you along for the ride then, so we'll catch you in the next episode. Have a great rest of your week, and we'll see you all later.